everyone, Alexandra here. So today I will show you how to use Luca to generate interesting and hopefully some really cool logos. So we're really going to cover a couple of different ideas. And then I will show you an alternative to Luca just in case you're not happy with these logos or you want to try some other tools as well. So the first thing after you join Luca is it's going to ask for your industry. And this is important because the examples and the ultimate logos it's going to generate are going to be in tone with your industry. So for this, let's just go for maybe a restaurant business and then you can pick some logos you like. So you should really be careful about, you know, the colors you choose, the way these elements are organized and um, things like the fonts, the logos and so on. So in my case, I want something more homey, if that makes sense. So I'm selecting maybe logos with a familiar kind of like hand designed look to them and let me just see if I can find something else that kind of aligns with what I want so maybe this one and as you can see there's quite a few examples so I'm fine with just three of them and then I'm going to choose the colors so this is just going to help you kind of see how the logo looks like with your own colors so let's just say orange is the color of my restaurant and my company name is going to be something like Sandy's Cooks you can have a slogan as well. And uh, I'm, I'm going to pick some symbol types, such as, you know, a restaurant, a food, maybe a meal, organic. You can see all of these are kind of related to the restaurant business. And this is the stage where we get the recommendations. Here you will see a bunch of different examples for logos. As you can see, these examples aren't exactly similar to the examples we picked at the beginning. But this is not a problem if you do like some of them and I've already noticed quite a few of them. Remember you can always just kind of go over the symbols again and re-edit this. Maybe add your own keywords just to make sure that as you scroll, as you can see, you keep getting more of these logos. So I'm going to choose one I liked at the top right here. So this one, it's not the homey logo I wanted but it's definitely more maybe modern and I definitely see this working yes as you can see this is under the modern category so i could just go on and kind of like change this to see some more examples but i'm literally going to stick with this and you can go and click on every element to change it so for example if i want to change the font in here again you just click on the text go to font types click on suggested and select the font you want and you can see what this exact logo is going to look like with a different font so for example in this case i'm just going to pick this one and then i'm going over the symbol here and i'm going to want a different type of symbol so i'm just going to look for something like fish maybe let's just say our restaurant is selling uh, food that's primarily fish based so you can see a bunch of different examples in here i do like this one because Compared to this one, for example, it just kind of covers, it's the same size as the rest of the tag. So this is really fun because you can visualize everything. And even with an element like this, so the symbol we have here, we can work with the sizing for it. And as you can see, the design of the logo is responsive. So that's perfectly useful. I'm going to leave the fish kind of the same size as the text. You can also work with this if you don't like maybe the, the way the fish is oriented or whatever. And you can also try things like this as well. So for example, if you find when you go to suggested in this case, you will find a couple of different examples. And for example, if you like this logo, but you want the symbol to be at the top, you can just do this. And now with the undo option, we're going back to the logo we picked. I might not be happy with the way this text is. I can always just go and change it. I can then go to the background part and of course I can change the coloring on this. I can work with, you know, different symbols, different colors, different texts. I can even just focus on like the name, aka the text, because the name is literally the name of your company. So that's the text. Uh, I can maybe just change the symbol 
I also have a container option, so in case I want something else, maybe like this would be nice. But then you also have like borders and so on. I recommend just keeping things simple to be fair because then you can always just reuse this. And you can also see the history of your changes just in case you want to revert to something you've done at the beginning. So as you can see, we went from this to this. And uh, of course, there's like other ways of testing out layout, seeing if, you know, you can fit some slogan tags. What I would recommend is once you have the logo, see what it looks like on, in this case, the menu, online, on social profiles. You can definitely see if you want to see what this looks like as part of a letterhead, brand guidelines, social profiles, just click on brand essentials, social profiles. And if you get the brand kit, which is a paid feature, by the way, you will be able to create those straight away from this. So beyond being a logo maker, it does help with creating things like social images, business cards, email signatures, even your website. So you can definitely create elements for your website. You will also get a color palette for this, as well as some extra things like um, customizable designs, maybe for posting content on social media, on uh, social stories. So here's an example of what the potential social stories could look like. So as you can see, all of this uses our logo, our brand palette. What's important to keep in mind is that this does work like Canva, but you do need a paid feature to be able to access it. So essentially how this is different from Canva, for instance, is that in Canva, it's a bit more of a manual process to turn your logo into content like this. Well, in this case, you just need to create your logo or you can recreate an existing logo you have from another platform, bring it into this tool, and then the tool will automatically create so much content for you. So this is kind of the advantage of um, using Luca as opposed to Canva, for instance. And of course, you can always play with the platform, see if there's like a different palette you want to try out. Maybe this one, for instance, would be great if you want to kind of like occasionally change your logo for an event or a specific campaign you have going on. Then you also have the more ideas option, which just takes the logo you have and uh, gives you more ideas on how you can improve it. And literally, you can just come back every once in a while if you want to rebrand or maybe in 10 or 20 years you want a new logo, you can use this and just generate a more modern or just a logo that is aligned with your current branding and what you currently do. Because let's face it, if you're a restaurant, you might decide to stop selling fish and just do something else. So you need to change your logo. Now, let me just show you an alternative to Luca. So as an alternative, you can try logome.ai. I will leave the links in the description below in case you want to try them out. So the way this works is you click on make a logo. And again, let's just imagine we're making kind of the same logo for a restaurant that we did with Luca. So I'm going to choose some logo styles that might align with my restaurant business. So I just chose these ones, click on continue. Again, for colors, we're just going for orange because, you know, that's the color of our restaurant. Take the restaurant industry, add in the logo name. Again, you can also get AI name suggestions, literally, if you're just kind of in the ideation stage. Or if you want to create new products and you need independent logos for these, I have a recent tutorial on how to use WAP to sell products online. And within that platform, you can change the icons to customize your offering. And you can literally use a logo maker for those icons as well. So it's not just logos, you know, it can be literally anything. And now, through the help of artificial intelligence, we will get a couple of logo examples that we can, um, you know, just look through, edit, and so on. I do personally like uh, Luca a bit more because at this stage, you can already kind of change the symbols you want. So with Luca, there's a bit more focus on the symbols, which matters more to me. So I'm just choosing this one this time. Click on customize. And in my case, I am way over the limit of logos I can save. 
And this tutorial is on Lucas, so I won't get into the details of how Logo Me works, but I just wanted to mention it kind of like as a comparison. So again, my recommendation is to use Luca because of the, you know, just extensive capabilities you have in terms of the other content you can generate literally automatically with this tool. So you will find both links in the description below so you can decide which tool you want to ultimately use for your logos. So that's about it for today. If you have a tool that you want me to review, or if you know you want a tutorial for any specific tool, feel free to leave me a comment below and I will see you next time. Bye.